G'day. Back to back again. Uh, it's time for my RC Mart, my RC Mart, um, for the 1407 series uh, micro motors. I've been running them on my little 150mm and uh, lost a few. <laughs> and uh, thought I'd give you a bit guys of uh, guys a bit of an update on um, on how they've been running. So part two, here we go. So you'll immediately notice I've had a couple of problems. Now, before I get into it, I'll admit uh, the problems have mostly been, I believe, that of my own doing. Basically, I've been losing my motor, quite obviously, and ripping the motor wires out because the um, I use the supplied hardware and I have a 3mm thick carbon arm. Now, when the bolts, um, when these come through, they're not really, I'll, I'll show you how many turns it takes to get it out, if I can. So that's one turn. Well, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting about, ooh, one turn of, um, of thread up into that motor and it's just not enough. Now, I'm always pretty vigilant I'm all, and checking that my screws aren't gonna hit my windings, but I didn't really think to check, you know, how much is this coming through the motor and how much is it um, holding, so by my own doing, by using the supplied hardware on three mil thick frame, I've managed to uh, do in two motors. But by all accounts, prior, I had quite a large amount of crashes with uh, some diatone three inch props, that's all I had at the time. And these, these things are like dows basically. Um, they're really, really thick and strong. So they put a lot of stress, especially on these small motors um, and tiny bearings on these things. I don't know if I'll be able to get this off. I don't have my proper needle nose pliers with me. No, okay, it's off. Right. Have a look at those bearings. Um, there's a 1.5 mil Allen key. They're tiny, so you know you're putting a fair bit of strain on them. But you know I flew this for basically a week. Um, find it on big four cell 1300 mil, no, 1300 milliamp hour batteries, and my bearings are still smooth, um, which is which really quite surprised me. So I haven't got much bad to say about it, except you know check your hardware if you're using a three mil um, thick one, you know 150 mil or 120 30 whatever whatever frame you're using. If it's three mil thick, probably don't use the supplied uh, hardware to to mount to mount the motor. It's about my only advice there. But otherwise, the um, the balancing. Yep, they they're still doing that on on these little motors. I haven't had any any magnets slipping. That was a, a huge problem on the twenty two oh five series motors. The magnets slipping all the time, and you pretty well just had to run CA around them all and and hope that fixed it. Um, but otherwise, no, they these you know haven't shown any signs of that. The bearings have all all been really good still. And uh, yeah, no, I've been really impressed with the power of, of you know three inch of these little things. I'll um, I'll, sh I'll show you some footage soon, and um, I'll, I'll try and put it in with this video just to show you how powerful the thing is, and it, you know it can freestyle with the best of them. Really, it's it's quite surprising how good this little setup goes. But uh, now that you know, I've I've only got three motors left, so unless I make a tricopter. Yeah. Um, I'm not much into tricopters, so I won't be doing that. So uh, I'll have to wait until I can get some more little 1407s to, to fly the little beast. Because it, it certainly is a lot of fun. Um, the yeah, 
little quads are, are really are really cool. I didn't think I'd have so much fun with them, but I did. I love them. Then I went back. So awesome. There you go. 1407. It's from my RC Mart. They're uh, good little powerhouses. Just watch your screws. Make sure they're going through enough to actually hold the motors on. Otherwise, you will rip those little wires out. Especially um, on these little setups. It's just it's going to happen. So. See you next time.